Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 11, Three Dimensional Geometry, Exercise 11.1. Question number one: If a line makes angles 90 degree, 135 degree, 45 degree with the x, y, z axis respectively, find this direction cosines. So the line, direction cosines of the lines we can take it as L, M, and M. So L is equal to cos alpha, M is equal to cos beta, and N, N is equal to cos gamma. Right? Then alpha, beta, gamma are the angles so here we can take it as 90 135 and 45 instead of alpha beta and gamma so direction cosines of the line b l m and n so we can write l is equal to cos alpha that means cos 90 degree cos 90 is how much cos 90 is zero next m m is cos beta that means cos 135 cos 135 means we can write it as cos 180 minus 45 right cos 185 minus uh, 45 is minus cos cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta that means minus cos 45 that is minus cos 45 value is 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 next n n is equal to cos gamma that is next angle is 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so the direction cosines of the lines are 0 minus 1 by 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2. These are the direction cosines of the line. Question number 2. If the direction cosines of the line which makes equal angles with the coordinate axis. Direction cos we need to find the direction cosines. Then this is making equal angles. Right. So direction cosines of the line makes equal angles means all the angles alpha, beta, gamma are same. Correct. Alpha with that means we can take only one angle with the axis. This alpha same angle means alpha beta and gamma are all the angles are same only so what we can write this one l is cos alpha m is cos uh, cos beta and n is cos gamma only right gamma so this all the angles are same means we can take it as uh, alpha so uh, this l equal to cos alpha this is equal to m this is equal to n l is equal to m is equal to n equal to cos alpha we can take because all the angles are it is given that all the angles which makes equal angles that means all the angles are same is given so if you are adding this l square plus m square plus n square means how we can write cos square alpha plus cos square alpha plus cos square alpha equal to 1 we can write that means L square plus M square plus N square equal to 1. Okay. That means 3 cos square alpha equal to 1. So cos square alpha equal to 1 by 3. Therefore cos alpha is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3. Okay. So what is the direction cosines of the line? So which is we, we can take it as plus or minus 1 by root 3 plus or minus 1 by root 3 and plus or minus 1 by root 3 we can take we need to find the direction cosines of the angles there right? so all the angles are equal means direction cosines of the line which equally inclined to the coordinate axis that angles are plus or minus 1 by root 3 plus or minus 1 by root 3 plus or minus 1 by root 3 we can write answer question number 3 if a line has the direction ratios minus 18 12 minus 4 then what are this direction cosines? We need to find the direction cosines. It is given line has the direction ratios is given, right? So what is the ratio? Minus 18, 12, minus 4 are the ratios. We need to find the direction cosines of this line. So how we can find this one? See, direction uh, ratios of a line passing through two points. X1, Y1, uh, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2 means how we can write this one. X2 minus X1, Y2 minus Y1 and Z2 minus Z1, right? So direction cosines means how we can write X2 minus X1 by PQ, Y2 minus Y1 by PQ and Z2 minus Z1 by PQ only, right? So direction, this one, direction cosines of the line passing through the points. If two points are given means P of, we can take it as P, P of X1, Y1, Z1, Q is X2, Y2, is a two direction ratios of the line passing through two points means what is the ratio how we can write x2 minus x1 this is a one ratio next one is y2 minus y1 and is a two minus is a one is a ratio if two points are given then the direction cosines how we can write direction cosines means x2 minus x1 by 
PQ next y2 minus y1 by PQ and z2 minus z1 by PQ is the direction cosines correct so what is the value of this PQ PQ is root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square is the value of pq so here what we need to find here we need to find what are the direction cosines so this this one this is a direction cosines right direction cosines are x2 minus x1 by pq y2 minus y1 by pq z2 minus z1 by pq only we are going to find out so first we can find the value of pq so what is the value of pq not, not here pq here the ratio is already given that means this is this is equal to minus 18 minus 18 this y2 minus y1 value is 12 and z2 minus z1 is minus 4 correct so this value we can find it as the pq is if i am writing for this value equal to root of x2 minus that is minus 18 square plus pq y2 minus y1 is 12 that is 12 square plus z2 minus z1 is minus 4 square correct so this is equal to root of uh, 18 square 18 square 18 square is 324 324 plus 144 plus 16 so 324 plus 144 plus 16 is root 484 root 484 is 22 right 22 into 22 is 484 so this is equal to 22 is the answer so here we can substitute and we can find the direction cosines so direction cosines Direction cosines are x2 minus x1 by pq. That is x2 minus x1 is minus 18. Minus 18 by 22. Next y2 minus y1. That is 12 by 22. Next z2 minus z1. That is minus 4 by 22. So this is equal to minus 9 by 11. 6 by 11. Minus 2 by 11. So the direction cosines are minus 9 by 11, 6 by 11 and minus 2 by 11. Answer. Question number 4. Show that the points 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 5, 8, 7 are collinear. Collinear means these points, these three points are on a line. Then it become collinear, right? So the given points, this uh, a, a, B, C and we can take it as this. Given points, we can take it as A is 2, 3, 4, B, minus 1 minus 2 1 and c equal to c of 5 8 7 we can take the given points so the direction uh, ratios of the line joining means how what is the direction ratio x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 is the direction ratios correct so we can find the direction ratios of this line so direction ratios of line a b we can find out direction direction ratio of a B. Direction ratio of A B first we can find out. That means direction ratio means how we will take x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 as a direction ratios, right? So here this is x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So x2 minus x1 that means minus 1, minus 2, next year, minus 2, minus 3, 1, minus 4, correct? So this is this is equal to what we will get? Minus 1, that is minus 3, minus 5, minus 3. This is the direction ratio of AB. Next, we can find the direction ratio of next line, BC. Direction ratio of BC. Collinear means this A, B, C are on the same line we need to prove. So, this BC also we can find out. BC means again. 5 minus minus 1 8 minus minus 2 7 minus 1 so this is that is 5 minus minus plus that is 6 8 that is 10 7 minus 1 is 6 that means 6 6 10 6 so here, here if you are multiplying with 1 minus 2 means minus 3 into minus 2 is 6 
minus 5 into minus 2 is 10, minus 3 into minus 2 is 6. Thus, this is these two are in proportion, right? It can be seen that direction ratio of this AB and AC are in proportion. So, AB is parallel to BC. We can write this, this collinear only we need to prove, right? That means on the same line. So, here we can write um, direction ratio of AB and BC are in proportion. Direction. Ratios of AB and BC are in proportion. Both are in both are in proportion. So what we can write? Therefore, AB is parallel to BC. We can write correct. Therefore, AB is parallel to BC. AB is parallel to BC means what we can say? Since the point B is common to both AB and BC, right? So this AB is a collinear. We can write. Therefore, AB C are collinear. By this collinear, the point B is common to both AB and BC. But this point is common means what we can say. This ABC are collinear. We can write answer. Question number five. Find the direction cosines of the sides of a triangle whose vertices are 3, 5, minus 4, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 5, minus 5, minus 2. Correct. So, direction ratio, cosines, how we can find out the points are given means x2 minus x1 by pq, y2 minus y1 by pq is a 2 minus 1 by pq, right? Like that only we are finding the uh, direction ratios. So, here we can uh, draw one triangle and mark the points. A, B, C, this one is 3, 5, minus 4, D is minus 1, 1, 2, C is minus 5, minus 5, 2, correct. So, here direction, um, cosines of the line we need to find out. So, what are A, B, B, C and A, C we are going to find out. So, for A, B, we can take the line A, B. A, B means... This, these two points, using this point, we are first, we can find the direction ratios for AB. For AB, direction ratio. Direction ratios, how we can find direction ratios means x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1, right? That means minus 1, minus 3, 1, minus 5, 2, minus, minus 4, correct? So, this is equal to... Minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. 1 minus 5 is minus 4. 2 plus, uh, 2 plus 4 is 6. This is a direction ratio. So, we can find the value of uh, AB. So, here it is AB only. That means AB, AB equal to root of. So, we are going to find the value of AB. AB equal to root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus z2 minus z1 the whole square. That means the ratio square minus 4 square plus minus 4 square plus 6 square. That is minus 4 is 16 plus 16 plus 36. So, 32, 32 plus 38, um, 68 root 68. We will get right root 68 means uh, 17 fours are that means 2 root 17 we can write so a b is equal to 2 root 17 so we can write the direction cosines so direction cosines direction cosines are how we can write x2 minus x1 by a b that means minus 4 by 2 root 17 again minus 4 by 2 root 17, 6 by 2 root 17. So, this is equal to 2 twos are 4. Here also 2 twos are 3 twos. That means minus 2 by root 17, minus 2 by root 17, 3 by root 17. So, this is a one direction question for the AB. Next, we are going to find for BC. For BC, we are first we need to find the direction ratio. Direction ratios means BC. That means x2 minus x1. That means minus 5 minus minus 1. Minus 5 minus 1. 2 minus 2. So, this is equal to minus 5 minus. That is minus 4. Minus 6. 2 minus 2 is. 
minus 5 this is minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 so minus 4 minus 6 minus 4 are the direction ratio so we can find the value of bc bc means root of x2 minus the ratio square that means 4, 4 square is 16 minus 6 square is 36 again 4 square is 16 so the same only right root 68 root 68 is 2 root 17 now we can find the direction cosines direction cosines is equal to ratio each ratio divided by this bc value that is minus 4 by 2 root 17 minus 6 by 2 root 17 minus 4 by 2 root 17 that means minus 2 by root 17 minus 3 by root 17 minus 2 by root 17 correct next we are going to find the value for ca ca first we can find the direction ratio direction ratio means c to a that means 3 minus minus 5 3 minus minus 5 Next, minus 5, sorry, uh, A, that is 5, minus, minus 5. Next, minus 4, minus, minus 2. So, this is equal to 3 minus minus 5 is 8. This is 10, 8, 10. This is minus 2. Correct. So, we can find the value of CA. CA equal to root of the square. 8 square is 64 10 square is 100 minus 2 square is 4 so once 166 166 68 64 plus 4 is 80 68 so 168 168 means um, 42 42 into 4 right 6 sevens are 42 mm, so 2 root uh, 2 root 42 we can we will get so next we can write the direction cosines so direction cosines equal to each ratio divided by that means 8 by 2 root 42 next 10 by 2 root 42 minus 2 divided by 2 root 42 so this is equal to 4 4 by root 42 5 by root 42 minus 1 by root 42. This is the direction cosine of this line. 